Welcome back, guys. We got Klaus right here in the trailer. He is done-ish, kind of, but he's gonna be as done as he gets because he's going on the trailer tonight because at like six o'clock in the morning, he's heading to Florida for Cletus and Cars. So we didn't get an alignment because we didn't have time everywhere it's closed. So I did the string method and who knows if it's close. I'll figure it out. Might be, might not be, it'd be something. Then for the tune, didn't get to check the tune because we haven't been able to get the car running right. Uh, what's going on is he's starting to overheat at idle. I know, that's awesome. That's what this car loves to do is overheat all the time. But the reason is I think there's a bubble in the system somewhere because the thermostat just won't open and let the air come out. Something was going on, but then when you rev it, it opens up and the car cools down super quick and everything's just perfect and awesome. I've tried burping the system, jacking it up in the air. We had a power bleeder. We had all kinds of stuff and it just isn't working. So I'm out of ideas. Who knows? Maybe there's a the clog in the rear radiator. I don't have time, but I think Jeremy from Faster Proms, if you guys know him, he said we can come out to his shop. So maybe on Thursday, we'll try diagnosing some problems there and checking the tune. Uh, we had Scotty B just left and we got some LEDs in the car. So I push that button, hit that button, and we got lights. Boom, some little tram lights going all the way around the car. Pretty cool. Lights up. Happy with it. So we got that done. I'm going to go ahead to the gas station right now and do another test drive and actually pick up a bunch of E85 so that way we are loaded up for Florida. Car still needs other stuff. Drive shaft was rubbing in one spot, but then I think it's self-clearanced. Still clearanced, counts for me. Uh, what else is there? Uh, I got brake lights that are acting up. You don't need those. It needs all kinds of little things, but we're gonna see how it works and how it drives. We're just gonna send it, but not break it. So I'm gonna get in the car and let's get going. There it is. You can see Scotty B's lights. We'll go ahead and get something in the dark, make it look a lot better. So we're over here driving. Uh, before I got here, I had sparks shooting out of there. Electrical sparks, dash was flickering. I was freaking out, you know, jumped out of the car like when I was on fire before. All that good fun stuff. And what I think it was is there's a loose wire flopping around. But other than that, I think it should be good. We're gonna check it out and keep driving. was not sparking anymore so hopefully we are good see the tron lights in the dark a little bit more uh scotty b leds is the one that does this uh this was a quick one day hurry up and do it temporary just for the burnout contest i think i kind of like them so we're gonna actually drop it off over the winter time and he's gonna do all of the bars and he's gonna clean them up and tuck them so you can't see them but I'm liking it. It's looking pretty sweet. Of course, we're at Ernest Brew Works. You know, we fixed Klaus, we have a beer. That's how it's gonna be. We're gonna head home and start packing, change oil, nut and bolt check, all kinds of crazy stuff.
spent quite a few hours packing up everything the truck is completely packed to the brim you can see Klaus he's got a bunch of painter tarps some heavy duty tarps he's strapped down I we got the tarps strapped down over top of him and hopefully he's ready for his what 2400 mile round trip should be good uh, the car still has a couple issues but we're gonna fix it when we get down there I think Jeremy from faster problem said we could use his shop we're gonna see how it goes but we're gonna end it off here and we will see you guys when we are down there